Right then, ladies and gents, welcome to the video. So this week I'm making a start on the Speedo mounts for the Honda Rebel. So I've got an aftermarket uh, Speedo, uh, and I'm just gonna be basically constructing the mount uh, for that. Now, the risers are for the bike. I'm gonna use the original ones. Uh, they're not the best looking one by any means, but they do have some mounting points uh, on which the original clocks would have used. And obviously I've done away with them now because they were big and bulky and yeah, just didn't suit the look of the bike. So what I'm doing is taking a few measurements for where I'd like the speedo to sit. So just measuring up the mounting points, obviously the diameter of the speedo itself, and then how I kind of want it to sit between the risers. Uh, and I'm going to take all that information and just kind of plot something out on a bit of cardboard. So using the faceplate with the lathe for the first time uh, was a learning experience and particularly when it comes to mounting the work to the actual faceplate itself. So you can see here it was a bit of a faff. The actual faceplate is very small um, when it comes to kind of mounting parts or components to it, um, particularly access to the back of it and the casting is not that great either. So I did have some issues with uh, washers getting kind of jammed up, uh, not enough clearance, and generally just a bit of a pain.
bollocks. Uh, okay. I think what I'm going to do, because I don't want to ruin this face, because I like it, and that's the reason I put it there. Um, I'm going to take a bit of material off the back, just scallop that out for the handlebars. Tiny bit of a chamfer. 